Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Sea Monsters in the Desert Far from the royal burial zone at Saqqara in Egypt, a team of scientists uncovered the remains of a gigantic creature. It happened back in 2019, and the scientists weren't at all interested in mummies or buried tombs. They were looking for monsters from a bygone age, and they found them. This monster in the desert lived at a time when Egypt was not a desert at all, as confusing as that may sound. 40 million years ago, this massive marine creature was gliding effortlessly through clean, plastic-free water when Egypt was a shallow marine environment. And even though the beast was so big, it was likely a gentle giant. I'm talking about a prehistoric sea cow called Serenia, an extinct relative of the manatee. Paleontologists from Cairo University say the ribs and limb bones of a fully grown specimen were found there. This thing would have been like the ancient sea version of a cow for its docile nature and herbivorous appetite. These days, there are four living species of manatees spread all the way from the Amazon to West Africa. But the prehistoric version was quite a bit different. It was actually semi-aquatic and still had front and hind limbs 50 million years ago. It took about 10 million years for it to shed its limbs and replace them with fins. And shortly after that, the water began to drain away. The ocean was almost definitely replaced by a forest, which was later replaced by a shrubland or grassland, and then finally a desert. All these years later, the ancient manatee's bones were still lying there on the ground. Number 9. Cemetery of Flying Reptiles Scientists in Chile have discovered a very rare cemetery in the middle of the Atacama Desert. The graveyard is filled with the amazingly preserved bones of ancient flying reptiles, which lived over 100 million years ago. By flying reptiles, I mean pterosaurs, the biggest and baddest flying creatures of the dinosaur age. They were a sort of gigantic, terrifying flamingo. Pterosaurs apparently fed by filtering water through their thin teeth, just like how flamingos feed today. But what were all these skeletons doing in the middle of the desert? The Atacama region may be a desolate, scorching wasteland these days, but it was once a much different landscape. There were more animals, there was water, and it wasn't such a lifeless place. Flying reptiles would have had an abundance of food to pick from. These skeletons were found in two main cemeteries where there appears to have been some kind of mass death event. According to the lead scientist on the expedition, Jonathan Alarcón, he had been searching for these exact dinosaur remains for years. The discovery of these graveyards was like a revelation, one which surpassed even his greatest hopes. The scientists dug up mostly flat and broken bones, skeletons that had been pummeled by the passing of time. But they also found three-dimensional bones, hidden unsuspectingly in the desert hills under a thin layer of crystallized rock. Number 8. Mysterious Oasis In 2014, an oasis appeared in the Tunisian desert. It was quite the sight for the desert locals who couldn't believe their eyes. In the middle of an otherwise barren stretch of sand, there was a shimmering blue lake as if it had been sent from heaven above. Nobody in the region knew where it came from, but they didn't care. Hundreds of locals swarmed the unexpected oasis and started swimming. It was originally discovered first by a couple of shepherds wandering through the wasteland, and since the temperature was well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, it quickly became a hit with the locals. But you can't trust everything you find in the desert. There were some serious concerns that this random lake of seemingly crystal water was polluted by the local phosphate mining industry. It was believed that carcinogenic materials had seeped into the water. In the end, nobody died, and we never did get an explanation for how a lake appeared overnight in the desert. Scientists say it may have been groundwater released by seismic activity, pushed up to the surface. However, we don't know for sure. Number 7. Tombos Tombos is a curious archaeological site in the desert near the Nile River in northern Sudan. It consists of circular mounds of rock that look like ordinary formations amongst the desert landscape. But in reality, Tombos is an ancient underground burial site. The tombs were carved out of the ground around the year 2500 BC. They were made by the native inhabitants of Nubia, ancient Egypt's lesser-known neighbor to the south. Unfortunately, the deeper history of Africa is usually eclipsed by the rise of Egypt. 
The global fascination with Egyptian pyramids and mummies has drowned out the rest of the old societies in the region. There were many different civilizations that rose at the same time along the Nile River Valley and wielded major power. One of these was the Kingdom of Kush, but the Egyptians didn't really like having a powerful neighbor to the south, and so they frequently went to war. Tombos was actually an Egyptian colonial site during the New Kingdom. The Egyptians were trying to get a foothold in Nubia to carve a small chunk of it out for themselves by slowly spreading their people into the land around 1200 BC. While it worked briefly, they would ultimately lose control of the region. However, just by having a small colonial site here, the Egyptians left a cultural mark. The tombs at Tombos were done in typical Egyptian fashion, and pyramids even once stood in the area as smaller copies of the Great Pyramids farther north. Number 6. Fighting Superbugs The Gobi Desert meets the Tibetan Plateau in northern China to create one of the most surreal landscapes in the world vast sand dunes, mountains of jagged rock, and countless miles of nothing. The temperatures can sink well below freezing in the winter, and in the summer and the blistering sun, it can be hot enough to melt your skin. It's here in this desert region where scientists are hunting for organisms that they hope to use medicinally. These desert organisms may just be helping scientists to treat antibiotic-resistant bacteria, thereby saving roughly a million lives a year. This remote desert holds the key to new antibiotics, antibiotics which bacteria has yet to develop a resistance to. One of the scientists participating in the hunt is Paul Dyson from Swansea University Medical School. Paul and his team have already discovered one species of bacteria that could change medicine for good. In 2013, the scientists managed to isolate a previously unknown type of Streptomyces bacteria in the Gobi Desert. They sequenced the bacterium's genome and found it to be a kind of super species, producing antibiotics to kill other bacteria and growing much faster than normal. This is the kind of bacteria which could be used in RNA vaccines. Fun fact, Streptomyces is also what gives soil its earthy dirt smell. It takes a lot of testing to get from bacteria to vaccine, as we can tell by just how old the discovery is. But it's pretty fascinating to think that lying in a big chunk of sand somewhere could be the cure to the next pandemic. Number 5. Comet Glass A discovery of mysterious glass takes us back to Chile's Atacama Desert. Not far from where scientists recently discovered a graveyard of prehistoric flying lizards, scientists discovered bits of twisted glass thrown across the surface of the sand. They believe this mysterious glass in the desert came from a massive comet that exploded in the Earth's atmosphere. The catastrophic event happened about 12,000 years ago. The force of the explosion would have produced intense tornado winds and such unimaginable heat that the desert sand was scorched. The sand was heated to temperatures so hot that it was transformed as if by magic into silicate glass. The discovery of this glass was made about 10 years ago but it wasn't until recently that scientists realized what it was. At first, they had been stumped by the chunks of dark green and black glass found across a 47-mile stretch of desert. Some of these chunks of glass were about the size of a pizza box. Some researchers thought the sand had been turned into glass from grass fires, while some thought fireballs in the atmosphere. Nobody wanted to believe that a comet could have caused such an explosion, not until the evidence was indisputable. This would have been like a nuclear bomb going off, the heat so intense that if a city had been here, everyone in it would have most likely been vaporized. Number 4. A Lost Civilization In the United Arab Emirates, scientists have discovered the leftover traces of an ancient civilization that once lived in the desert. Scientists say the mysterious civilization prospered here 12,000 years ago, at the same time an explosion was turning sand to glass in South America. The scientists made this discovery using the newest technology available to them at Khalifa University in Abu Dhabi. They used satellite remote sensing observations to look at the remnants of objects buried under the earth. They concentrated on the area surrounding already known archaeological sites. Basically, they figured that the society would have built their stuff close together, and they were 100% correct. One of the biggest discoveries was made near the archaeological site of Saruk al-Hadid which was found back in 2002. 
It's deep in the desert at the southern borders of the Dubai Emirate and was used as a metal producing factory in the Iron Age. It likely functioned between 1300 and 800 BC. Although scientists have found treasures from the Stone Age 9,000 years before the metal factory, it was likely the Iron Age where the culture peaked. Now we have even more sites in the surrounding desert. It looks like there was really a massive civilization spread all across the UAE, and yet nobody knows who they were. They could obviously make tools, they practiced advanced industrial manufacturing, and almost all their greatest achievements have since been swallowed by the merciless desert. Number 3. The Biggest Diamond Miners in the Angolan desert have just discovered something beyond precious. According to the Lukapa Diamond Company, they have mined the largest pink diamond found in 300 years. That makes it one of the biggest diamonds of all time, an extraordinarily rare 170 carat pure chunk of diamond. The Australian mining company has named the precious gem the Lulo Rosa. It was found in the northeastern region of Angola, where life is scarce and the environment is harsh, but diamonds are plentiful. It's a type 2A diamond, which is one of the rarest and purest of all naturally developed stones. It was such a historic find that even the Angolan government shared the exciting news. And although we don't actually know the market value of the pink diamond just yet, it's already being set up for sale. Judging on its size, comparable to a baseball, and previous sales like the 2017 Pink Star Diamond that sold for over $7 million, it will most likely fetch a small fortune. Number 2. The Roswell Anniversary July 8, 2022 was the 75th anniversary of one of the biggest mysteries to ever come out of a desert. 75 years ago, a spaceship may or may not have been found crash-landed in the shrub-spotted wastes of New Mexico. It was on July 8, 1947 that the story appeared in the Roswell Daily Record. The caption was, RAF captures flying saucer on ranch in Roswell region. And although the newspaper didn't offer enough specifics to paint a clear picture of what happened, the nation was intrigued. It was implied that a ship piloted by extraterrestrials had just landed in America. The news report said that the 509th Bombardment Group at the Roswell Army Airfield retrieved the mysterious instrument and then took it to their headquarters. A day after the first story, there was a follow-up stating that the object was nothing but a high-altitude weather balloon and that they had been mistaken about the flying saucer. Even though the case seemed to be open and shut in just 24 hours, we are still talking about it all these years later. What we know is that some kind of wreckage was discovered by a rancher named Mac Brazel on his property. The entire region was undergoing a wave of mysterious sightings. People had been seeing flying saucers nearly every night. Pilot Kenneth Arnold even reported seeing strange flying objects as he piloted over Mount Rainier in Washington state. Mac Brazel contacted the authorities about the wreckage he had discovered on his property, and this led to the July 8th news story. But whether these scraps of metal found really belong to a weather balloon or a flying saucer, we still don't know. Number 1. California Stone Circles To this very day, archaeologists are baffled by a group of mysterious circle-shaped earthworks in the Southern California desert. The ancient earthworks can be found in the Anza Borrego Desert State Park, and they have been there for at least 3,000 years. The earthworks aren't that large, made up of simple stone circles just big enough for someone to lay down inside of them. And even though they've been studied repeatedly, scientists still can't agree on what they were used for. Some have suggested they could have had something to do with cooking, maybe shelter, or even ceremonial activity. Another interesting theory is that these stone circles were left behind by travelers many thousands of years before Europeans ever arrived in North America. They may have been used as temporary shelters, primitive rock huts where the travelers could seek a reprieve from the sun. If they were temporary shelters, they may have been used by a migrating group of early humans trying to find the best place to settle. But at the end of the day, it's all just speculation. Archaeologists haven't found any artifacts linked to the stone circles. They don't know who built them, and they're not even entirely sure of the age. These circles are definitely at least 3,000 years old, but could date as far back as 10,000 years. Thanks for watching. 
What do you think is going on with the California Stone Circles? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you later. Bye.